Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to the channel. Today we have a very special and exciting unboxing, round two. We have the Norda 001, uh, the Ray Zahab edition. So, a little context on this. For the past, really, three years now, oh uh, yeah, through 2020, during the beginning of COVID, I've been doing a ton of road running. I always into fitness, but I did a bunch of gym, kind of bro lifting. COVID hit, all the gym shut down. And then I was like, well, I guess I'm gonna start running. So I'd run three miles a week, uh, just start off like doing a 5K a week and then gradually doing a three and a five and then a long run, uh, working up to, I, I think I did a half marathon that year in 2020, just self, self time, self paced and a 15 mile long run that year. And gradually just been building over time on the roads. Last year I did my first full uh, marathon and honestly was a bit burnt out from uh, from the just the repetitive nature of uh, the training and, and the structure. So looking for, I, I didn't know after the marathon finished, I didn't know what I wanted to do next and I've just been rebuilding my base mileage. I'm up to 60 miles per week now, uh, just gradually building five to five to six more miles. Uh, per week and I decided I wanted to do a bit more on the trails. So I live in North Carolina. It is extremely muddy and rainy, especially in the winter. And so the trails get so slick and I have the Nike, right now the Nike Pegasus Trail 3 Gore-Tex, which are, are great waterproof shoes. Uh, for, for the uppers, your feet don't get wet, but the traction on them is just absolutely horrible. So I was looking for something with a bit more grip on it that would let me get out on some of these trails and, and rip around uh, a touch faster than I'd be able to if I were wearing those uh, slippery ice skate <laughs> Pegasus Trail, uh, Pegasus Trail 3 Gore-Tex. So that's what landed me on the search for these things. I was deciding between the Hoka Speedgoat 5s and these Norda. Uh, there, there's quite a big price difference, but for me, I, I ended up with these because they're they're a small brand. Uh, I align with their mission, their vision, the aesthetics. I mean, they're, they're so swaggy, that's important to me. Uh, look good, run good. So I, I've, I've found these guys, I got them, and waited probably three to four days for the shipping. It wasn't too bad, they're out of Canada. Uh, and I have a couple trail races set up for for later in the spring, so hopefully we'll be taking them out for that if if everything works out. So we can get into the unboxing now. This is the the package, and you can see well Canadian flag action. Uh, nothing is too unique or, or branded on this pack. It's just a regular regular shipping package through UPS. Let me get out my trusty scissors. We're in the Jeep here. I'm really excited to see what sort of uh, special branding touches they put into these ones because last unboxing I did was Tracksmith and we had some cool stuff there. Ooh, look at that. So, opening it up. We see Norda. That's what I'm talking about. All right, let me take out the shoebox. Sorry, technical difficulties here. Just need to rip that bad boy open. ditch that all right cool nice I like this so their aesthetic what they're going for with with this box I think is uh, they, they want to project their aura of sustainability so they've went with a more neutral looks looks like a recycled post-consumer material here uh, but it's not like if we compare it to the box that it came in it's not a traditional uh, brown 
cardboard, there's a bit more uh, lightness, brightness, uh, almost an orange tan quality to it. It's really nice to the touch, soft, but you can see throughout a few flecks of that uh, recycled material. Yeah, let me put it up close so you can see, yeah, right there. Look at that, something recycled. All right, now I'm gonna open up this bad boy. Ooh. A little smell test. Pretty, pretty rubbery and chemically. Now open it up. We have a drawstring bag here to hold the shoes. That's pretty cool. And then we got the shoes inside. Look at these things. Nice, so the reason I got them was the, the Vibram a mega grip light base sole down here and you can see those lugs are pretty mean should give me some good traction in the mud and i went for this uh orange and white colorway my wife was like that thing is gonna get wrecked but that's what i like for my trail shoes uh, i kind of want them to get completely completely mudded it adds a little bit to the look and the uh, i don't know if they have two densities of midsole foam or if it's just the coloring but that's pretty cool there's a dark orange on the bottom here and then light orange with flex up here uh, the upper is dyneema which is a material that's allegedly stronger than steel for its weight well i don't know why i said allegedly i, I think it is uh, and same with the laces and then looks like there's some sort of light overlay situation up here I heard that I read that this this colorway was supposed to represent the orange is for the desert uh, I forget the name of the desert it's either the Gobi or the Sahara Desert that the orange is supposed to reference and then the blue is the Antarctic so it's the contrast between the the two most extreme places on earth which is pretty sweet nice reminder of uh, the beauty and brutality of nature while we're out there running And there's a few hang tags, so one Norda hang tag here and then other Vibram ones. So this midsole is made by Vibram, which I think this is the first non-Vibram brand running shoe that has that midsole used, which is pretty sweet. Any other goodies? No. So that's what we got. Cool. We got some shoes. We got a nice little drawstring bag, uh, and hopefully we got a whole lot of grip. And I remember in my, my tracksmith video, I mentioned that the in the Elliott Runner, they felt a bit heavier uh, holding them than I expected. These feel a lot lighter. I, I think this is gonna be an awesome trail running shoe. Uh, people, people have commented that there could be some more uh, and the initial miles, some better structure in the upper. So we'll see. I'll, I'll do my thoughts on that, a little first run video, but out of the box, looking pretty clean, looking pretty grippy, uh, colorways fly. So I, I'm excited about taking these out. We'll follow up with my first run thoughts and thank you for watching the channel.